today I'm going to be your tour guide and we're going to experience uh, a, a really beautiful uh, city in Colombia called Cartagena. Um, so included in this tour, we are going to see location and weather, history and historical sites, culture and food, things to do, and fascinating facts. Location. Cartagena, Colombia is located on the shores of the Car Car Caribbean Sea on the northern coast of Colombia. Cartagena sits between the Magdalena River and Sinu River. Weather and weather. Cartagena has a tropical wet and dry climate with a humidity temperature all year round. The weather on average varies between 20 degrees and 30 degrees Celsius. The hottest months are between June and August, averaging 32 degrees, and the coldest month is January, aver averaging 20 degrees Celsius. So we're going to be seeing the history of Cartagena. Cartagena is known for having fascinating history. It was founded on June 1st, 1533, by the Spanish commander Pedro de, Hered de Heredia, in the 16th century, Cartagena went through five sieges by pirates, the most infamous, which was led by Sir Francis Drake. The first attack was by Robert Bow. He robbed the city of a large amount of gold. Then after the attack of Sir Francis Drake, the Spanish crown ordered stone walls to be built to protect the city. These stone walls are the same walls that you can see today. It is called La Ciudad Amurallada the walled city. Inside the walls is what is referred to the old town of Cartagena. Um, during the col colonial period, Cartagena was the most important fortress of the Spanish overseas empire. Cartagena was then one of the first towns to gain independence from Spain in early 1810. However, this resulted in years of suffering and fighting. Today, Cartagena is, can, is Colombia's fifth largest city. It is extremely wealthy, depending on tourism, industries, and its port that keep the economy strong. Cartagena receives more visitors than any other Colombian city. Cultural food. The first one is mojada roja. It is a classic Colombian coastal dish. Fried golden crisps, fish served with coconut rice and fried plantain patties. The second one is cazuela de mariscos, a seafood stew served with shrimp, calamari, and clams, cooked with coconut milk and served with coconut rice and fried plantain patties. The third one is arepas de queso, Fresh corn dough stuffed with cheese and grilled on an open flame. Things to do in Cartagena. Number one, explore the old city. The old city is the most visited tourist attraction in Colombia. In the city, you will find colorful colonial ar ar architecture and historical parts. Also, amazing restaurants, bars, and local shops within the old city. You can even explore the city by riding in a horse-drawn carriage. Number two, visit El Castillo de San Felipe de Barajas. In Cartagena, you can visit an incredible fortress built by the Spaniards, considered one of the great military wonders of the world. Built in 1656, you can stroll through tunnel passages and even make your way up along the fortress walls and battlements. Number three, visit Playa Blanca. Located on Isla Baru, you can take a boat or a car to a beautiful white sand crystal water beach around Cartagena. It might be filled with locals, tourists, and beach vendors, but it is all part of the fun. 
grab some fried rice and coconut, fried fish and coconut rice at the local restaurants and enjoy the day with your tour group. Number four, visit the Zenu Gold Museum. This museum is dedicated to the indigenous Zenu people of Cartagena. Opened in 1982, there are over 500 pieces of gold, 61 ceramic artifacts, and shell collections. This museum will transport you back to pre-Columbian legacy of the Zenu people. Number five, visit El Museo de Esmeralda. Colombia is known for its es emeralds, and there is a museum dedicated just to these precious stones. You will also find countless pieces of jewelry that were made with emeralds and learn the history of how these stones were mined and discovered. While you take a tour of this beautiful museum, you will also read about the indigenous people of Cartagena and their legends surrounding the emeralds. Emeralds. Um, fascinating facts about Cartagena. Number one, there is a mud volcano. Volcán de Lodo, el Totumo, is a volcano located a few miles outside of Cartagena. It is roughly a 90-foot volcano where you can walk up and take a mud bath. The mud has many properties that remove toxins and heal the skin. The mud also has numerous medical benefits. You can even enjoy a relaxing massage inside the volcano. Number two, there are 27 Caribbean islands located 62 miles off the coast of Cartagena. These islands are called the Rosario Islands. They are protected and are Colombian, and are Colombian national parks. The protection of the coral reefs and ecosystem is very important. That is why there are over 120,000 square kilometers of land and marine area. Some of the islands are, inhab are inhabited, but some are private islands where you can accommodate hotel packages. On these islands, you can snorkel, swim in crystal water, and relax. You can also visit amazing natural aquariums. Number three, sunken treasure was found. On June 8, 1708, the Spanish Galeon, a sailing ship from Spain, named San Jose Explorer, exploded off the coast of Cartagena. This ship had been in battle with the British and sunk with roughly 20 billion USD worth of gold, jewels, and silver. This ship had been lost on the ocean floor for centuries until the ship was found in December of 2015. The San Jose treasure is still being fought over in disagreement of who are the rightful owners of the fortune. That is the end. I have a question. Would you visit Cartagena, Colombia?